Hello YouTube, welcome to a brand new, very exciting video. This is about ugly books. Now, if you're asking yourself, what the heck is an ugly book? I have a video for that. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember I had been getting ads continuously on Instagram for ugly books and I was so curious about them. So I bought a pack and I unboxed and looked at them and made some art on my channel you can watch that video to see that since then i have been working in those books pretty sporadically but really really enjoying it working on that colorful paper as you can see i'm showing you some images here to collage as well as doodle it's something that i never would have tried on my own and i really really love it ugly books is a really cool company making these beautiful sketchbooks you can order a color combo that you are drawn to or you can get a mystery pack speaking of mystery packs i have one to open and i'm so excited this came like days ago now and i've been waiting until i can open it with you and i am dying to see what's in here this is actually the perfect bound sketchbook that ugly books has and the previous ones I had were like a more simple staple. Um, they've had these for a while and I've been dying to try them. And I am now an affiliate with Ugly Books. So we'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the video, but spoiler alert, the info's in the description. So let's get into it. Like I said, I am dying to open this. This is a mystery pack of three sketchbooks with this perfect bound binding oh god i'm so excited okay stick with me let's speed it up while i actually get this open because i have not opened it yet <laughs> and i'm dying to so i'll put this in uh, fast motion hold up okay it's open <gasps> i peeked oh god i'm so excited so what i got was a mystery pack again so i did not pick the colors you can pick color combinations on the ugly books website but this one is a mystery pack so i had no idea what color combos i was gonna get i'm so excited whoa oh okay i see the difference already with the perfect bound so oh my gosh okay oh this is so cool and they also these three colors like really go together as well that's very fun. Okay, so as you can see, they have this like decal on the front that is printed on the plastic. It's not on the book itself. The covers of the ugly books are totally blank so that you can mess around and design them, add stickers, add whatever you want. The only logo embossing is on the back, which I'll show you in a second, but okay, let's get this open. Okay, so on the pack, I got it open and I'm about to open it. So it has this like decal printed on the front, but like I said, the book itself is plain. And on the back, there is a sticker that says, ugly books, 48 page sketchbooks, plus unbranded covers, make them your own. Like I said, durable 350 GSM cover stock, thick 135 GSM acid-free, uncoated interior pages, great for any media. Uh, paper is FSC certified. Shrink wrap is biodegradable. Love that. And yeah, so let's check it out now that I have it open. So as you can see, this printed cover comes right off because it's on the plastic, not on the journal itself. I love this binding. This is like, like just a beautiful bound book. Wow. Okay. So the first one we have is this like pale baby pink and it has blue pages beautiful and the binding is very nice it's like just a thin just perfect bound is what they call it and it's really nice you can kind of i'm going to crack this open a little bit beautiful and on the back it has this holographic like embossed ugly books logo but that's the only thing that's on these besides that they're totally blank and gorgeous the cover is like a very thick cardstock and then the paper itself is it's it's thick it's not like it's not too thin in my experience a sharpie does tend to leak through but um any other pen i've used has been totally fine 
it's like a cardstock inside and it's really nice. Okay, so I have baby pink with this like neon blue. Then I have this one, which is very cool. It's a brown cover, like matches my hair. <laughs> brown cover with this like, oh my gosh, it's like forest green. Do you see that? I love that. I feel like the other ones that I have, even the red, like the paper is lighter in color. So this is the first one I've had where the paper is like a darker color. I love that. I'm so excited to see how black marker and pen looks on this. This is so pretty though. Like the brown with the green. Oh my God, that is so like foresty. Oh, I really like that. And then this one is like a neon magenta pink with like baby pink interior. Oh, it's so cute. It's just really like a sturdy, nice book. And I have to say the other ones that I had were this staple binding. And I do really like that because you can get it really nice and like wide open for working. But these, I think these might be my go-to now for ugly books. Um, I will also say I expected them to be a little bit bigger, but that's just because I wasn't looking at the measurements. <laughs> I really like the pocket size. If you are familiar with my channel, again, you'll remember the like 12 bazillion tiny art journals that I've filled so many. I think I have seven, six or seven now that I've like totally filled. And this is such a cool way to add like a different vibe to those. The colorful paper is just, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So I am going to mess around with these a little bit and you're going to come with me. So let's go mess around and have some fun. Okay, so we're in slightly different lighting now as we get ready to make some art, but I hope you saw that those inlaid videos also show what these colors look like in natural light. So I hope that the, the real vividness of these colors is, is getting across on video. This one by far is my favorite of the three, the brown with the green. It's so me. This one is so bright and vibrant and the baby pink cover is really subtle and nice and this one just feels like pure barbie i almost want to make it like somehow just like pop girl themed or something because i just it's so so vivid so here's the three books as i said these are the embossed logo that is on the back and everything else in and out of the notebook is plain and now we're just gonna get to it so the first one i wanted to work in was this one this color was so bright and it's so out of the norm for me, but I saw this piece of paper in my clipping collection and I immediately was like, this is too perfect. Like this has to be the first page of this pink sketchbook. So I'm just trimming. Luckily it has those grid lines, so it made cutting it very easy. And the other thing about these sketchbooks is that they do have a curved page, like a corner, a rounded corner. So often if I'm gonna cover the full page in a piece of magazine or paper, I go ahead and round the corners um, so that it fits really perfectly. As always, I'm using the photo mounting squares from Michaels, linked in the description. They are the only adhesive I use for collage. I love them. So I'm just placing in this piece of paper. How perfect is that with the pink cover? And then I thought this picture, which is from an old cell phone ad from the 2000s, I believe. And um, it's just too perfect. So keeping it really simple and just adding this picture to that super graphic background. And yeah, the way that that's the first thing you see when you open it, I think that just turned out perfect. And that's the thing with collage on ugly books, because the, the paper is colorful, it allows you to keep it really simple. Like I could have also just put the hand without the background and it would still be just as effective because of that colorful paper. So here you can see it in some natural light. I just wanted to show how that looks. And now I'm doing a little bit of doodling. So we're using a Sharpie pen in here and Sharpie pen does not leak through. Uh, 
you won't be able to see it because <laughs> because um on this page because obviously i covered the back with collage duh but uh in one of the next books i use a sharpie pen and you can see uh how it doesn't leak through so there's a doodle page and now i'm moving on to this one just doing a little bit of lettering the paper is so smooth for writing and I really like using these for doodle as well as collage. I'm just doing a little bit of Beyonce lyrics. I have been obsessed with Cowboy Carter all year since it came out. And this is lyrics from the song Just For Fun, which is I think my sleeper favorite on the album. Honestly, underrated and such a beautiful song. Now you've probably heard me say this on my channel, I cannot draw, um, but I highly recommend if you are someone who likes to draw or sketch, go to the Ugly Books Instagram and see some of the stuff that they share other people doing in these books using paint pens and other colorful markers and different mediums like pastels and chalk. Definitely check it out because Again, I don't, <laughs> I can't draw, but the people who can use these books and it is very cool to see what they do on the colorful paper. Just adding a bit of a shadow to these bottom letters. Makes it pop a little bit. Added a few little details and now let's look and see, does the Sharpie pen leak through? not even a little. So that's really great. It's a really good thickness of paper. And on this next book, I'm gonna do another little piece where I will show you how a Sharpie marker does on the paper. I will tell you it leaks through, but the Sharpie pen, absolutely not. Totally, totally doesn't. So I will say from the three books that I got in this mystery pack, this brown and green one is really my new obsession. I am most likely gonna go ahead and get a three pack of just this color. I'm obsessed, it's so beautiful. And I wanted to keep this really simple, just using this art of a bird that I think I got from some, who knows, some random place. You guys know my collage clipping collection is totally unhinged because I save everything and then I forget where its original uh, source was from. <laughs> but just keeping it really simple, I'm gonna glue this down and then this is where we're gonna use the Sharpie to do a little bit of design around it and I will show you what that looks like on the paper. So we've got the Sharpie, just a regular Sharpie marker. I'm not even pressing super hard on these dots um, but I just am doing a little bit of a border. Keeping it simple. And you will see when we flip over, it does leak through. It doesn't bleed through too much. If you pressed hard, it would, but it's, it's doable. But I would say definitely use a different type of marker, whether it's like a Tombow brush pen, something like that. I don't think would leak through. It's really just Sharpie. So now I wanted to do something else in this book and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I messed around for a little while and then I thought of these kind of like rectangle, <laughs> it's like rectangle salad that I make where I just like cut different colorful patterns into these rectangle shapes. And then I just kind of glue them in a, jumbled way it's one of my favorite things to do i've done it in a bunch of my art journals before and i thought it would look really cool on this colorful paper so i picked some like similar blues yellows and now i'm just kind of gluing them down i'm working on a very very large piece with this style of design and it's so much fun 
it's a very simple design that you could do without like putting much thought into it in a way. But you do also have to kind of be aware of how everything's overlapping. And I really like it on this tiny scale. I've never done one this small before, but I think it turned out really cool. I like the pop of the black and white as well as the color. And with that green background, it makes it so nice with this colorful paper because sometimes if you have white paper and you're collaging on white, if there's a space in the middle that is open, you can really, really tell. Uh, but with the colorful paper, it kind of makes it so you can leave some of those spaces a little more open, which I really, really like. And with that, this piece is done. So subtle, so quick, but so effective. I just absolutely love collaging in these ugly books. What a blast. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I unboxed these ugly books and did some work in them. I've had so much fun with these. I really recommend these sketchbooks if you're looking for something different to just inspire your creativity. Working on colorful paper sparked my brain artistically in a way that I really didn't think it would. And I'm so excited to keep going in my books and filling them up. If you've watched my tiny art journal flip throughs, um, and you are looking to try that, this would be such a cool way to add just like another level to that. Um, I really, really recommend Ugly Books. I'm already thinking about getting my next mystery pack. I just love them so much. If you want to try them, in the description, you will find a link where you can save 10% and it will help me and my channel and it will get you some really cool Ugly Books. And then you have to show me what you make because I love going on the Ugly Books Instagram and looking at everything that they share of other people doing art in their books with colors and playing with like negative space because of the colorful paper. It's just so cool. And their Instagram will be linked in the description too, so you can go check that out. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you again soon. Make sure you subscribe and have a great day. Bye.